Gunpowder Morning. Good morning. I'm John Potter. It is true. I'm Andy Guevara. Thank you for starting your day with us. Yeah, the big news of the day is a shooting that happened last night in downtown Reno. This was like a 20 minute ordeal with this guy shooting from the montage. The Reno gunfire turned into a hostage situation, left the shooter dead. Okay, the threat is over now, but Jamie Hayes is live in downtown where it all happened there on Sierra Street. Good morning, Jamie. Tell us the latest, please. Good morning, John and Andy. Well, what we know so far is that around 7 o'clock last night, officers responded right here to Sierra Street after receiving multiple calls of a possible active shooter. When Reno police arrived on scene, they heard gunshots from a room inside the montage right here behind me. Now, one of the phone calls that they received was from a woman inside the room with that suspect. As officers worked to contain the area of the incident, Reno police negotiators responded and made contact with the suspect and that female inside the room. While this was while he was shooting out of the window and reporting that uh, he was holding her against her will and wouldn't let her leave. And uh, so we were able to free her and get her into safety. According to the AP, the suspect was on the eighth floor of that building and as officers entered the room, they opened fire on the suspect. Medical arrived on scene and transported the suspect to an area hospital where he was declared dead. For locals, it was hard to believe that this could happen right here in our city. Concerning, definitely. It's been safe so far, but it, this is definitely concerning and eye-opening. Luckily, the only other injury that has been reported was for a, a female citizen. She had an injury to her hand that did not need any medical assistance. And this incident is still ongoing. As you can see, fire, uh, Reno Fire is behind us. They are helping out with the incident as well. And we will continue to update you as soon as we learn more. Covering the story, Jamie Hayes, Channel 2 News.